So this is all of May, June, and part of July's, actually I don't think I put anything in this month. Um, so probably just June and May. Um, there is some decluttery stuff in here, which I um, uh, is coming up in videos that are coming up. So you'll see this probably before you see the majority of those. Um, so I have to work out... Uh, eventually I'll have to work out how to price some of those, um, but anyway, we'll get to them. A lot of makeup stuff. Uh, the first thing that I have here is the L'Oreal El Vive Arginine Resist Hair Treatment. Um, it's supposed to be the Instant Miracle. It's one of those ones that's supposed to work in like three minutes or something stupid like that. Um, it's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything remarkable or amazing or anything. Uh, we have the NYX Matte Finish um, Long Lasting Setting Spray. Don't like the smell of the NYX one, um, but this I finished this ages ago. I ended up using it for my um, Astralis because the Astralis is on the bottle that I had, the spray on the Astralis, Astralis one wasn't working properly, and the mister on this is like really, really good. Uh, yeah, so, but this one is now finished. I have a container of my acetone that I use. I get this from a nail supply company because I can. Um, the other day I bought it, but instead of buying it in this size, I bought the big one. I mean, it's it's heavy, but really, it's it's big. <laughs> it's five times the amount of what's in this one. Works out financially better. Uh, I use a lot of nail polish remover. It is what it is. <laughs> I also have a empty acetone container. It's, the glare is horrible. Uh, this is the Diggers brand. I picked this up from the hardware store. Um, they sell it in like one litre containers at the hardware store and it costs less than buying it anywhere else. And I, I have heard questions about using acetone or using acetone nail polish remover and what you've got to remember is that acetone nail polish remover is not just acetone, it's acetone with additives in it. So it will have moisturizers in it, it will have a fragrance in it, sometimes it has colouring in it as well. All of these things are designed to cover up the smell of the acetone and to make it slightly less drying um, because acetone, pure acetone, which is what that is, is quite drying and it leaves like a white sort of cast on your skin which goes away real quickly when you wash your hands and then moisturise them. Um, but it sometimes is not as effective as acetone on its own actually is. So if you're trying to remove a gel polish, like using the soak off method, or trying to remove acrylic nails or gel nails with the soak off method, using an acetone nail polish remover will not work as effectively because of the additives that are actually in it. If you're just removing ordinary nail polish and you know you've got glitter on your nails or something, it'll be fine for that because it's still the acetone is still does its job. But for professional use, it, it, it's not helpful, usually. So, uh, yeah, depends on your usage. If you just want to take off your nail polish, I would go with a non-acetone one because it's less dangerous to your nails. I use a non-acetone one because I have acrylic nails and I want to mess up my acrylic nails. If you've got any kind of nail enhancement on, don't use an acetone-based nail polish remover. You're just going to mess it up because it slowly weakens the acrylic each time you take the nail polish off. Just, just don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I could do a whole video on things not to do with your nails if, if anybody's interested. Um, next we have something that is in every single time I make video. The Lacura Essentials Makeup Rounds. These are always in. Um, I buy them 
all the time. Um, almost the last makeup -y thing, I believe. I think I had another box of, I think that was like Daiso, um, like these. I used up another box of like these ones that are the rectangle ones from Daiso. These are actually pretty good. I'd probably buy them again. Um, this is not really, um, in the, the same category as some of the other stuff, but these are the makeup wipes. These are disinfecting makeup wipes with lemon fragrance. These come from Daiso. Uh, not Daiso, Audi. I buy lots of this stuff. Um, I use these to clean up around my work area and wipe stuff down and, like, the top of the bin and all that kind of stuff, um, in the areas that I have clients because they're antibacterial. And, you know, sort of around where I sit at my computer where I could get coffee spills and stuff. I like to clean up all that stuff. That's what I, that's what that's for. I have uh, a knockoff. I'm pretty sure this one is a knockoff. It might be the real deal. I don't remember. It looks like the um, Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. But I had some knockoff ones and some real ones. So this is just Gunji. And, yeah. So... <laughs> I'm just getting rid of it. Uh, now on to the stuff that is basically all decluttery stuff for a number of different reasons. Um, some of it is because um, it's really, really old and starting to go off or it's stuff that I really don't like and I know I'm not going to use. Um, yeah. Well, stuff that I've already found out doesn't work for me, but isn't in a project. Um, so the first one I've got is this crown corrector wheel thing. This came in part of as part of my makeup kit from when I was doing my beauty training. And considering I qualified in 2015, this time three years ago. Um, I mean, these things last pretty well. It doesn't smell off. It smells exactly the same, but I know I'm never going to use it, so... Because um, I don't really do makeup on other people very much. Um, also from Crown are the two foundations that came out of the uh, beauty kit. Um, a lot of it is because, okay, so you see what colour that is on that side. You can see it's separating and cracking. And when you squirt it out of the thing, it is the wrong consistency. And this has done exactly the same thing. And these have been kept in... These have not been put in any kind of light source or anything. These are kept in a drawer away from light and heat. Um, this is what happens when they start to just go weird. So they're gone. Uh, this is a really cheap face primer. It was like a dollar that I just know I'm not going to use. It's dimethicone based, so I mean, not that I have a problem with that. I don't mind dimethicone primers, but in case people are curious. Um, I have this old Essence match to cover concealer. Neither one of these shades is right for me. Uh, another concealer is this one from Physicians Formula, which is pretty much brand new, but as you can see, this end is literally yellow, and this end is about three shades too dark, <laughs> and this is actually the light version of it. I, c I can't see the name on it, but um, in the video where I got rid of that, I showed it on my hand, and it was like I had a whole line of them across my hand, and it was like there was no... No way that that was going to work for me. Because uh, I had my Fit Me concealer, which is the one that matches me. It's just what I'm wearing right now. Um, and then I had all the other ones next to it. Um, I have a LA, was it LA Girl uh, Pro Conceal Concealer. I've had this for ages and it's starting to do weird stuff. I actually bought this before this became popular on YouTube. Like, I'd already had it for probably six months before anybody was talking about it on YouTube. Uh, another concealer which I have got rid of is the Clean Concealer from CoverGirl. Um, in my the video that I decluttered it in, I mentioned that this concealer, when I put it on, 
underneath my eyes and then attempt, like I left it for a little while. Now sometimes you leave it to set a little while before you blend it out. Well I went to blend it out and it literally picked up off my skin. Like it just crumbled up and came off my skin and I'm just like, well, yeah, it's an invisible concealer because it doesn't exist once you blend it out. Uh, I have an eyebrow stylus, which if you've watched my, ch my channel for any length of time, you've seen before. This is the Essence Eyebrow Stylus. I used most of, whoops, sorry, most of that up last year. Um, I have decided to, I, like this is probably four years old or something. Uh, another concealer is from BYS. This is a concealer pen and when I squeezed it up in like the video that I did it um, and this is, this is kind of gross. If it will focus, come on, you can do it. Now if you can see it, but there's these really do tiny white gross. Yeah. I ain't putting that anywhere near my face. Uh, and the other concealer is this one, which um, is an LA Colors stick concealer. I don't even know why I buy stick concealers, because I don't like them. Um, I have a brush in here, which, the, this is why it's in here. I went to use it and it fell apart. And I have enough brushes, I'm not going to... Um, not going to repair them. Um, this is the eyelid primer that I used for ages, and this is from Nika K. I've had it for ages, and I don't really think it does anything, and I really don't like it. So it went, and it's starting to smell a little bit weird, I have to say. Um, I have this eyebrow kit, which is, I think I got it in like a lip, lip monthly or something. None of these are actually my shade, and and this is actually in medium. That shade right there, that is black, right there. And I mean, I suppose I could use some as eyeshadows, but I'm not going to. So they're gone. Uh, this is a lip balm, which I'm actually going to scrape out of this container so I can keep the container because the container is super cute. super cute container but it's a potted lip balm and I happen to know for a fact this is the marshmallow one from more this actually dries my lips out so there's no point keeping that one um, there's this one from Mika Beauty or Mika Beauty I don't know whatever this is the tinted lip balm in velvet rose um, it's kind of got hard and you can see it is moving away from focus. It's moving away from the sides of the container. So it's literally drying out. And it is like really pigmented. It's not a lip balm at all. So it's going. Uh, I have this Cobalt Blue Eyeliner from NYX, which it's come, see how far it's come away from the sides there? And it's got weird little white dotty things on the top of it. It's very, very dry. It's not even touching the sides in most places. It's, yeah, super duper dry. So that one is going, there's also these two, whoops, gel eyeliners, which are from Fashionista Beauty Secret. Uh, one of them is blue and it's just, it's gone quite dry inside the tubey thing. They've got so much product in them, these ones. I don't know how anybody could use them all. There's, I swear there's more in them than is in a... MAC fluid line. Um, this one's even drier and I think I used it like twice the whole time I had it. It's got sparklies in it too which didn't help it with the drying out thing. So those are both going. Um, 
Wow, I don't even remember checking out half this stuff. <laughs> this Max Factor eye base thing. I had another one of these which was in a project and I decluttered that. So I ended up decluttering this one as well. They don't blend particularly well. This one is in Pink Plume. Uh, in an Another one of my projects, I decluttered one of these, which are the L'Oreal High Intensity Pigment Coal Eyeliners. This one's brown and this one is teal, and they are weird. They're like a dry, powdery eyeliner. And they go everywhere, and I don't know what anybody was thinking with those. Um, this is the Maybelline Cool Effects Cooling Eyeshadow. This doesn't blend properly. And I've got rid of all the other ones I had of these. Um, this is another one of them. This is the brown one. Um, I can't believe I kept them for so long. It's really weird the bottom twists on this, but it doesn't do anything. And it doesn't come off. That's so strange. Hmm. Very weird. I have these two graphics eyeliners from LA Colors in purple and in teal. These have actually started to go clumpy and dry. Like, completely dry. Uh, so, they're not much use. Um, there's this little tiny bit of um, gold eyeliner which I'm just not going to use, it's from LOL. Uh, and eye um, eyebrow pencil which is supposedly in blonde um, from, it's like Kmart brand, but <laughs> it's very warm and even a bit on the light side for me. And then on the other end of the scale, I have this one from Rimmel London, which is in dark brown, which is actually super duper hard. Not hard in a good way, hard in a bad way. The Mono Mola 7 Day Eyebrow Tattoo. This thing's already dried up. I think I used it like twice. Like, There's <laughs> literally nothing coming out. The Master Smoky by Maybelline, which is a purple eye base. I don't like this. I don't like the way that it um, blends. I have two of these double-ended black and white pencils. This one has something weird growing on the black end. Um, and this one, the black is not black, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's kind of more like grey. Um, and yeah, I just don't like them. And then I have two grey pencils. One is the Color Theory grey pencil in charcoal, which is an eye pencil, but it's um, quite stiff and hurts a bit when you're trying to put it on your eyes. And the other one is um, this steel grey one from um, Rimmel Exaggerate which is like patchy as F. So yeah, that's another, I mean normally I really like these ones but that one's just doesn't make me happy. So yeah, that is everything that is in my empties for uh, basically May and June. Uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you want to get notified if I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos and decolonary type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!